Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I have some more planty chores to do so I thought I would film it for you guys. Plant chores are never ending and should I be doing my actual work, my actual job? Yes, I should. Am I procrastinating by doing plant chores? Also yes, um, but that's okay because I'm in the mood to do some planty chores so yeah I thought it'd be fun. I thought my top was fitting, I have a coffee and yeah let's just jump straight in. Do I have a plan of what I want to do? Kind of, but also not really. So I'm just sort of going to have a look around and see what needs to be done. I know a few plants need to be repotted, like this. Okay, that's weird. Someone just tried to call me on Instagram. Anyway, this Hoya Multiflora. She is stunning, she is gorgeous, she is in full bloom, but I feel like she needs a repot because she's in quite a small pot. She's drying out really quickly and she's getting quite top heavy. If you can see she's on a bit of a lean, so I don't really know, yeah I don't really have a pot to put her in so maybe I will, gosh I don't know, it's going to be one of those videos where I'm like oh I've got to do this and then I think about it and then I'm like oh maybe I won't do it. <laughs> Anyway, she needs a repot at some stage because she is very leany leany. She's all good. She's all good. This guy needs a pot extension. So this plant here is a philodendron phi something. I will leave its name on the screen here, but it is growing pretty well and it is growing above its grow pole. So I do need to extend that one. And it does need a bit, bit of a repot, so that is one we can do. And hopefully the bigger pot size should still fit in this cover pot. I actually thrifted two plants recently. One was this cute little Christmas cactus. I've actually always wanted one of these and I've wanted one of these for a very long time. So I was really excited to see this at the thrift store and I think it was... So it was only $5 which is really cool and I have the perfect little spot for this guy so I need to repot it and then I can show you where I want to put it. And the other thrifted plant that I've been wanting for a long time is actually a staghorn fern. So I also found this guy at the thrift store and it was, it was $6. I want to find a cool way to mount this guy and I want to have it outside on my deck which is covered in so it's in a shady spot nice and warm and I think it will look really cool growing out there. Now it is a little bit, it is a little, got a little bit of damage around here and it is sort of curling in quite a lot so I don't really know how I'm going to mount it without damaging that and I wouldn't have a clue how to grow these things so I'm just going to put it outside and hope for the best. If you have a staghorn fern and you know what kind of conditions they like or any sort of tips and tricks to how to mount them, please leave them in the comment box below. And I will probably try and film that for a separate video, so I'm not gonna be doing that today, but that is on the cards to do. And as always, I think most of my plants need a good feed and drink as well, so I will need to do that. I did sort of briefly water a few yesterday or last night. Some of them definitely need a good thorough drink. So anyway, that's enough chatting. Let's just jump straight in. So I think I will extend the pole for my philodendron and I will repot the little Christmas cactus and pop it into its new home. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is the plant I'm going to do first. I'm going to extend the pole. I'm using a Grow Thickly pole for this one. So just like in my previous video, I'm going to make the pole up and then pop it on top. I think these um, philodendron actually change leaf shape as they mature. I'm not entirely sure. If I can find a picture, I will leave a picture of what the mature leaves look like. But they have some real cool... Um, like texture on the leaves and I'm really excited to watch this one grow. They're not super common here in New Zealand. I don't really see anybody posting about them so 
yeah, it'd be interesting to watch it grow and develop and hopefully mature. It's quite a slow grower from what I've found. Okay, that's the pole made up. You want to repot that one too, don't I? So I'm just going to go get a pot. So it's currently in a 10 centimeter, and I'm going to upgrade it to a 12 and a half centimeter, which actually fits perfectly into the cover pot. So that works out really well. Oops! It is very moist because I only just watered it not so long ago. So I'm not actually going to disturb the roots too much, I am just going to pop some fresh soil in the pot. And then pop that in and backfill. like that super simple and I'm not going to water this in because as I said it is pretty moist I am just going to pop it in there and I'm going to fill up the grow pole with some more substrate now if you're in New Zealand I have a special grow pole blend which I specifically created to put into grow poles um, so I'm going to use that and fill this up okay so that's that one all done and I'm going to put that to the side And now we can repot this little cutie. Also, if you can see this here, this is a Begonia Don Miller and it is a new variety available here in New Zealand. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. I actually like this one the best out of the three. There are three new releases and yeah, they're really, really cute. I'm getting more from my website because two of them sold out. I still have these ones available, but I'm going to repot this one as well. So that's why he is just chilling here. But first, let's do this little dude. This is very, very, very wet. So, hopefully the roots are okay. The root part looks good. Okay, so this one I can see has already rotted because the substrate is so wet, which is not ideal, and which is why I want to repot it. I think these are just a whole heap of cuttings that someone's put into some soil mix. There's a bit of rot on this one, but hopefully it'll be okay. That one looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. And that one looks really good too. So, if I hold that up to the camera, you can see that it is quite rotted. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap that off can and then put this piece back into the pot and it should root in nicely and yeah I think that bit's too far gone so we're going to put it into this pot I don't want to bury them in too deep because I don't want them to rot again and this is going to be hanging, so I want it to sort of cascade over the front. I'll zoom you in a bit better so you can see. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I thought I would speed this process up a bit because you sort of know how repotting goes. But I basically just 
shimmied the cuttings around and made sure all the roots were going to be covered by the substrate but obviously not too deep because I don't want them to rot again and then I just backfilled over the top and made sure all the roots were covered in and I think it's going to be really really happy and I love the way it looks it is so cute and I can't wait for it to bloom So that is this one all potted up and I will, oops, <laughs> there goes the cutting. I will water this in soon once I finish doing all the potting up. Hopefully that little cutting roots in there. Also if you have any care advice for these please leave them in the comments down below because again I've never grown one of these, I'm not too familiar with them but I'm assuming they're just like any other cactus maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, now on to this one. It's got very nice roots on it. I don't want to disturb them too, too much. Now we pot it up. Okay, and that one is that one all potted up. Now I need to find a nice cover pot and position for this one. But I think I have the perfect place. So let's go back inside, water these plants and put them back into their positions. So I am going to water these in now with my favorite fertilizer, Growth Technology Foliage Focus. And I know I said I wasn't gonna water this one in, but I am going to Moisten just the top of the pole where I added the new substrate in and that'll help encourage its aerial roots that are up there to root into the pole. Hopefully just the top of this one. Okay, so this plant actually already has a home. It lives just down here. So it can just go straight back there and maybe a little move around. Because this new pole's a little bit tall. But hopefully it'll be happy there. So, I don't know how well you're gonna see it because it's in the window, but up in the little disco ball planter, is where I want to put this new cacti. Oh, this popped a little bit big. That's not ideal, but hopefully you won't see it when it grows in. Unfortunately, the pot is a little bit big for this plant, but that's okay. Hopefully you won't see it once the plant starts cascading down and growing down, but it'll get bright light here but uh you can see it it'll get bright light here but not direct so it should be pretty happy there hopefully and eventually it should look quite cute <laughs> and the plant that i took out was actually this um what is it snake plant that i've been growing in semi hydro in latruza pond just as an experiment i took this out of my garden and it is huge so yeah, I don't really care for this plant. It was just an experiment and it's doing really well, so I might find a spot for it somewhere, but yeah, I don't know. So now I need to find a place for this cutie. And I think I have a pot down here somewhere that'll be big enough for it. No, I think it looks all right. Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. It is really, really pretty. I don't know why this particular one wasn't more popular because I really like it. It's got gorgeous sort of red veining and red stems. It has a little bit of fuzz to it which I like and I like the maximalist spots. I think it just looks really cool. So I have a couple of other begonia over here which I think I might try and nestle him in somewhere down here. Maybe if I shuffle a few of these about 
put them in there or should I put this one back here and put him over here or should I move that one back even more into there Does that look cool or does that not look cool? Is that going to be alright there? Thanks. So. Okay, let me show you where I put it. So that is the guy on the pole. He lives here. And I have just put the new begonia up here. So hopefully it will be happy there. And this is my maculata tucked away there. And then my silver begonia silver dragon wing is tucked down there. Yeah, I think it looks cute. I really do need to downsize a little bit and get rid of some plants because she's quite full, but yeah, I don't know. And I also need to do a house plant tour as well. <laughs> now the real fun begins because I need to water majority of these plants. So yeah, let's uh, let's speed through that, eh? <laughs> Okay, so while I was inside watering all my plants, I found these very, very sad looking Sansevieria, which I have been meaning to repot for the longest time, but just haven't got around to it. So that is what I'm going to do now. <laughs> these poor, poor plants. Their roots are so dry, I'm surprised that they're still, still hanging in there. Gosh, these poor plants. <laughs> Some of them are barely hanging in there. But I will repot them all together. Gosh, they're just so dry. How is it still alive? I will pull some of these leaves off in hopes to encourage these aerial roots to root into the new mix and hopefully make a more stronger plant you could do with a few more should I just pot them all into there? I think I'm going to pot them all back into this tiny pot because they really don't have Roots. Hopefully my more moisture retentative mix will help them. That is that one all done. Now I'm going to repot this one. This is a really unique sense of area and I can't remember what it's called but it just dries out too quickly. I'm going to keep it in the same pot because I like the patina, but it needs some new soil. Gosh, so much dry, dry, dry roots. But actually these roots aren't too bad. 
surprisingly. It's actually got really nice chunky roots surprisingly so I'm quite pleased with that. Needs a good clean. Actually I think I have some more of these. I might go and get them and plant them all together. Okay so I actually found this in my greenhouse which was a propagation of this plant that I took ages and ages ago and I'm going to plant this back in with this one. Okay, put them all back into the same pot. I think so. There's something about Sansevieria in terracotta pots that I really like. So that is what that one is looking like. Now while Sansevieria are considered like semi-succulent plants, I actually find they do like moisture and they do like a bit more of a moisture retentative soil, especially if planted in terracotta. So I feel like these plants are going to be a lot happier now and I just need to keep on top of watering them so they actually grow and don't suffer but I think it looks really cute together. And while I was in my greenhouse getting that little addition. I actually have these Sansevieria which are also propagations of a Sansevieria cylindrica which I took again like years ago and they are a little bit neglected so I want to plant them all together into a cool pot and actually have these in my house because I really really like them. So I have two pot options. I have this terracotta one with a drainage hole that I thrifted or I have this cute like soup bowl and saucer which again I thrifted but I think I'm going to drill a drainage hole into it and I might actually plant them into this because I really really like this pot and I've been dying to use it so yeah I think this is going to be the go I think they're going to look really good okay decision made Actually, you know what? I'm not going to drill a drainage hole. I'm going to take a leaf out of Harley G's book and plant it with no drainage hole. <laughs> Hopefully they won't dry out as quick. They have pretty good roots on them actually. These ones look a bit sad. But they still have good roots. Let's peel back a couple of these leaves. Again, good roots, so that's always good. Hope you can see what I'm doing because I can't see a thing. It's so sunny out here. <laughs> okay, let's arrange these. Maybe let's do the big guy in the middle. And then a couple of these little stragglers around the outside. That could look quite cool. Again, I don't know how well you're going to see it, but this is where the Sansevieria live in my bathroom, up on the windowsill, so they get nice, bright, filtered light. But yeah, I think they're going to be happy now. I gave them a thorough water and that is where they live. Okay guys, I think that concludes this video. I got what I wanted to get done, done. It is very, very hot now and I do actually have some work to do, so... <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my planty content because there will be more coming. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video which will be either a plant tour or my favourites video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time. Bye! I know a few plants need to re... But yeah, some of them definitely...